Ladies and gentlemen, this is a red alert. For decades, the executive branch has been eroding the other branches of government, the legislative and the judicial, the Congress and the courts. But now, in the last few months, we've seen Obama come out and say he doesn't need congressional authorization for the new war in Libya because he has United Nations authorization. Only Congress can declare or levy war. That's always been part of our country's history for 235 years. Going back thousands of years ago, Caesar crossed the Rubicon and used his troops without the Roman Senate's authorization. Hitler did similar things. This is unbelievable what is now happening. Now, expanding on that, there's a report in the French news agency, AFP Today, and also in a White House press release, that they may use civil war powers, and they describe it as powers used against the South in Reconstruction to make them pay war debts back to the North, and that even when Congress wouldn't go along with them, the president just did what he wanted. Well, Congress doesn't just control and levy war. Congress also controls the purse springs. Even seven-year-olds in their first government class are taught that. So he's continuing there. I mean, this just gets crazier and crazier, saying, you let me raise the debt ceiling. You, you let us go further into debt. And why are we in debt to these foreign mega banks that have taken over our government and run his administration? Because they got their people in the positions of power in government, just like in Greece and Ireland, to sign us on to their trillions in derivatives that are their debts, not ours. So we're loaning them the money for their debts because they're too big to fail, and then we owe interest to them on it. But wait, that's not why we're even doing this video. I'm just showing you the pattern. Here's another example before I get to the big one. Obama's tried for over two years to pass carbon taxes in the Global Greenhouse Gas Initiative in Congress. He failed. And so earlier this year, 2011, the day he issues new EPA regulations outside of Congress, who makes the laws he executes, the day before, he gives General Electric waivers for all their coal-powered plants and plants they build and design. And then his energy secretary announces they're going to shut down, quote, massive numbers of their competition. Or another example, 2,000-plus waivers Obama's issued to major Fortune 500 companies like McDonald's. They don't have to get any insurance for their employees, but your Burger King or your hamburger place that's in competition, they do. This is outside of Congress. This is dictatorship. But again, Obama will leave office later. It's the office is being given dictatorial power by the mega banks and corporations that control the bureaucracy and the national security, military, industrial complex state. Now, here's the big one. I started getting emails today, and then I went and actually read what the president has said in the Associated Press, Huffington Post, you name it. But the Huffington Post, now merged with AOL, actually praises this and says Obama to unveil gun control reforms in near future. And what they're saying is it's going to be an executive order. They say we can't get stuff through Congress to restrict the Second Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms, victim disarmament. So what we're going to do is have an executive order to put you on a no-buy list, like a no-fly list. No judge, no jury, no conviction, no reason why you're on it. You just can't buy a gun. Same thing Rahm Emanuel called for three years ago. If you are on the no-fly list because you are known as maybe a possible terrorist, you cannot buy a handgun in America. He called for it uh, when he was in Congress. He called for it when he was White House advisor. Obama's talking about a national compulsory service under executive order because he can't get Congress to pass the National uh, Universal Service Act. And the article ends in the Huffington Post with this chilling statement. Still, executive actions offer something that legislation doesn't, guaranteed results. And as one gun control advocate told Huffington Post, there are always ways to use these administrative changes to obtain similar results. And they go on and say, executive orders in the works. I mean, this, I can't even believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Wars without congressional approval. Global UN treaty carbon taxes without approval. 
waivers to all his buddy from laws he, they put in to shut down their competition and now coming after my guns. They're talking about assault weapons bans, semi-auto bans. They're talking about shutting down gun shows. They're talking about it all. And meanwhile, the attorney general has been caught uh, engaged in perjury to Congress. The head of the ATF has admitted lying about the fact that Operation Fast and Furious to ship 30,000 guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment for violence. He's been caught lying about that. I mean, these people are complete crooks. They are going for broke because they're imploding America by design. Warn everyone you know, ladies and gentlemen. This is so huge. We are going into a dictatorship of the executive branch and the bureaucracy in this country. And they're already talking about going after private pension funds, ladies and gentlemen. The sky is the limit with these people. They've imploded us by design. And they want our guns. They want to convert us to pure slavery. Please get the word out about these illegal activities. Thank you for joining us. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? Go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines and cutting-edge information.